Welcome to the Siler Instrument Mapping Support video. My name is Jay Reister, Senior Mapping GPS Tech Support with Siler Instrument. In this video, I will show how to use an Android device with the Trimble GNSS status app and the R1 receiver. I am now going to select the Trimble GNSS status icon on my Android device. Down at the bottom there is the word select new receiver. I'm going to go ahead and select that and from here I am going to uh, see a list of options of Bluetooth devices that I can select from and I am going to select the GNSS 51547 receiver that I had Bluetooth paired up with my phone previously. I'm going to go ahead and select the plugs to the right of that and let it connect. It is now connected to the R1 GNSS receiver. Um, this particular receiver uh, is sitting outside, uh, just outside of a uh, building here. And it is picking up uh, nine satellites up there at the top. You can see right there. And it's about, about 5.3 meters, well, down to about five meters estimated accuracy with an integrated SBAS correction, which is a real-time correction which I'll give in more detail in a few minutes here. I'm going to go through some of the settings here. So you click on the three bars, the menu bars at the top left, then go down to detailed status. This will then give you some information, similar to like what a sky plot would do in some uh, Trimble software. Uh, you get to see your date and time, latitude, longitude here, height above ellipsoid, horizontal estimated accuracy and vertical estimated accuracy. Also the position is in 3D right now and the correction type is integrated SBAS with a real-time age limit floating around between four to seven seconds. And the antenna is the internal R1 that we are connected to. Presently we are tracking four GPS American satellites and also four of those are in use. It is tracking three of the integrated SPAS real-time satellites, uh, and uh, two of those happen to be in use. Uh, it is uh, picking up the WAS wide area augmentated satellites that are covering North America for GPS guided systems. GLONASS, we've got three that are tracked and three that are in use. The other constellations are Galileo for Europe, QZSS, for Japan and Beidou for China. Below that gives some detailed information as far as which type of primary source for correction is in use, SBAS and WAS, and what particular uh, satellite name it is using. And then down at the bottom you see the receiver serial number, firmware and battery life. Now I'm going to click in the upper left hand corner at the menus and go to the app settings so that we can change from metric to US for our units. Then I'm going to select the menu option again and go to receiver options. Under receiver options you'll see that there's an option for an install option. What this is related to is Trimble has a correction service that is uh, a subscription for RTX uh, which is a worldwide real-time correction. Uh, you can see the Trimble Positioning Solutions website for more details on that, and I'll also talk about that in a future blog post. I'm going to select the uh, menu option again and go to real time config. And I do have the primary source of integrated SBAS selected. By default, this was set to uncorrected, but I had already previously changed it. In order to edit your real time config, you'll go ahead and click on the edit button in the top right. And then you can select whichever one you wish to alternate between. If you wish to go back to uncorrected, which means no correction, autonomous. SBAS uh, can be used in other countries besides North America. Uh, Europe has their own um, SBAS. Uh, so does India uh, and so does uh, uh, Japan. 
The internet option up there at the top would be if you are uh, using a uh, VRS virtual reference station or RTN real-time uh, solution uh, where you would be dialing into uh, someone's server, uh, making a connection, i.e. through here in the United States, through a Department of Transportation or a private network of base stations. Some of those are free and some of those are paid for services. Uh, and you can always see our Siler Mapping Support blog for more details by typing in VRS or real-time networks and you can get some more details on where those um, real-time networks are located in the United States. I'm going to select SBAS here and click apply and then go back to the main menu and then click on the word about. Underneath about this basically is giving you the uh, version of your GNSS status app. If I go ahead and click back on home, this brings us back to the main page and you can see we are uh, getting a correction around six feet, estimated accuracy versus it was in metric previously. Uh, you can also get to the detailed status page by tapping on that accuracy circle there and that'll bring you to the GNSS status page. Thank you for watching this Siler mapping support video. Please be sure to check out our mapping support blog at mapsupport.silerinst.com. There you'll find other Trimble support notes, support links, and videos. Also see our Siler Solutions YouTube page. Thank you again for watching.